um, something a little bit different today. It's a guitar. <laughs> this was a request from Sinead. Thank you, Sinead, for this. I hope your um, nephew enjoys the song when you get to play it for him. It's a really fun song. It's a uh, shotgun by George Ezra. Ezra. I've really enjoyed learning it. And the nice thing about it is it's only four chords repeated over and over and over again. I have all of the, all of the belief in you. <laughs> I can't really think right now. So this is going to go well. Let's um, go. Okay. Mama mia. All right. So here we go. We're starting from scratch. Go through, make sure your guitar is in tune. chord we're going to learn is C major. Um, just like violin, I'm going to call this your first finger, second finger, third finger, and pinky or fourth finger. So we're going to start out with your first finger. And what you're going to do is put that on the second string furthest away from you. And it sounds like this. Okay, so just find that note right there. Make a mental image of where this goes. First finger is on the Oh, it's on the first fret as well. These are frets. Um, first fret, second fret, third fret, fourth, fifth, etc. First fret, second string. Okay? Sounds like that. Your second finger is going to go on the second fret. One, two, three, four strings up. One, two, three, four. It sounds like this. So now we've got end. And you just leave those on there. And your third finger is gonna go next string up from the second and the next fret, so the third fret. Sounds like that. Okay, the whole thing sounds like this. If you just, if you just do that and give that a good strum. C major. Homegrown alligator. <laughs> so you can just play that part of the song so far. Homegrown alligator or homegrown alligator. We'll get into strumming and best technique for strumming. Now we're going to be playing an F. We're going from C to F. And um, the best way to learn how to play guitar is to basically create a mental image in your mind of where your fingers travel to. I usually pick one finger, which is like the anchor. And I think about that one first, where does that go? It's usually the first finger. So let's use, maybe not anchor, maybe like a lead. It's like follow, follow the ducks. I don't know. Um, it's late. I have no idea what I'm talking about. So we're going to use your first finger <laughs> as that, uh, like lead. And so I'm thinking about, I'm in C major chord and I'm thinking, where does my first finger go in order to create an F chord? All right. And what happens is this first finger on your C chord, it does what's called a bar. And a bar means it's going to be playing this note, but it's also going to kind of cut down. So you're, it's playing more than one note at the same time. It's barring it. And that's what it does right there. It's a little bit tricky. This is the trickiest chord, arguably, of the song. Okay, so that's what your first finger does. It moves down like this. Okay. And what happens to your third and second finger is they both just move down one string. Okay, so they're here and then they both just shift down. And it sounds like this. So, oops. I just lost my second phone, so I guess I'm gonna have to... Uh, I guess I can just use the same one. Yeah, we're going from C and we're pivoting. First thing you do is make a bar out of that first finger, and then you take your second and third fingers here and you move them down one string. Key of the game, big helpful tip is to just practice is doing that super slowly take your time let it be meditative meditative don't get frustrated with it it, it can it's going to be really frustrating your fingers are going to hurt and all that but um just try to you know take a deep breath and go about it in a relaxed way and you'll get more out of it
And it does really help to think about where your fingers are traveling to, from one chord to the next. And to apply that into the song, we got home thrown alligator, see you later, gotta hit the, and then we're gonna shift somewhere else. So home thrown alligator, see you later. Wait, by the way, you're halfway through pretty much learning the whole song because remember, as I said, there's just four chords that repeat over and over and over again, except for the bridge, but just forget about the bridge. There's four chords that just repeat over and over again, super easy. You're halfway through. So you're here on F and basically, who's the leader? The leader is that first finger. All you gotta do is just come back out of the bar with your first finger. So it was like this here but now it's just gonna be back to where it was on the C chord, and it's that second string in that makes this sound right here, okay? What we're doing is we're gearing up to make an A minor chord. The rest of the A minor chords, we take our trusty two other follower fingers, the second finger and the third finger, and um, we put them on both in the second fret, so both of them are gonna be in the second fret, one on top of each other. So it's gonna be a little bit of a squeeze. So if you have small fingers, um, it's gonna be easier for you. So they're gonna sound like this. It's actually the two strings above the one that the first finger is. So I always put the third finger down first cause it's just a little bit easier to stack them that way. So you got your first mm -hmm. finger right here, put your third finger down on the second fret, the next string up, it sounds like this. your third finger and then you put your second finger down on the same fret um, but one string above your third finger it sounds like this so all together they sound it's it's a minor chord that's why it sounds so sad oh what was me so that's a minor whoo man you're learning a lot you've only got one chord left back to recap because this is how you practice and how you learn you have to go back to the beginning um, conveniently, your first finger is still in the same position um, that it will be. Your second finger goes on the second fret and one, two, three, fourth string up from the bottom. Um, and your third finger goes on the third fret, one, two, three, four, five strings up from the bottom. And that's C. Homegrown alligator, your for the F chord, your um, first finger bars and your second and third finger, just move down one. See you later, gotta hit the... Now we're doing this tricky A minor. First finger pretty much just pivots back up to where it was, stays the same. And your second and third, just crouching right in there on that second fret, one above the other, third and then second above that. Gotta hit the road. Well, I'm not the greatest singer, Mama but mia. yeah, sorry. Last chord of this, and then we're just gonna repeat this over and over and over again for the whole song, and somehow it doesn't get old because it's just a fun song and the melody's really good. We're gonna get finally the pinky involved. So this next chord is really only gonna use the second and the third fingers and the pinky. And what they do is pretty much just lift your hands up because you're kind of starting from scratch. You don't necessarily have that first finger anchor going on anymore so kind of the second finger now is the leader and that second finger goes second fret so this is the first fret this is the second fret here we are and it's the second from the t like top string here so this is the like highest string like as in this way is up and this way is down <laughs> and um, this is second from the top. That's what that sounds like. Then you take your third finger, it goes on the third fret, and it is on the very top string. Got that? Now this is the most tricky part. Your pinky finger goes down to the very bottom string of that same fret of the third finger. It sounds like this. It's gonna hurt your pinky at first if you're not used to this. Sorry, um, it gets easier. A lot of people quit because their fingers hurt and 
I, I get that, um, but it gets better. And that's G major. Okay, so that's our last chord of this whole song, except for the bridge. Which actually, I think the bridge just probably uses the same chords. That you're totally gonna rock it, due to you practicing and not the effectiveness of your teacher. Here we are, we're back at C major. And then after that, we're gonna go to F. After F, we're gonna go to A minor. And then after A minor, we're gonna go to G. And that repeats over and over and over again. So, homegrown alligator, see you later. Gotta hit the road, gotta hit the road. Something's changed in the atmosphere, architecture unfamiliar. I could get used to this. Time flies by in the yellow and green. Stick around and you'll see what I mean. There's a mountain top that I'm dreaming of. If you find me, you know where I'll be. I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun. Feeling like someone. Whoa. I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun. Feeling like a someone. I guess we could talk about strumming. I never learned how to play with a pick, but um, that's my fault. So you should probably practice with a pick. Homegrown alligator, see you later. Gotta hit the road. Gotta hit the road Down, down, up, up, down, up If you can say that in your brain a bunch of times Get it chiseled in there Down, down, up, up, down, up Down, down, up, up, down, up Down, down, up, up, down, up Once you get there, you can play and sing along with me for this. Uh, I forgot the words. Right. Homegrown alligator, see you later. Gotta hit the road, gotta hit the road. Something's changed in the atmosphere, architecture unfamiliar. I could get used to this. Flies by in the yellow and green Stick around and you'll see what I mean There's a mountain top that I'm dreaming of If you find me, you know where I'll be Oops, I'll be riding shotgun Underneath the hot sun Feeling like a someone Whoa I'll be riding shotgun Hot sun, feeling like a someone. Whoa! Right. Good luck.